AJ tipped the scales at 243.98 pounds, roughly 244 pounds. And Usyk tipped the scale at 221.1, roughly 221 pounds. Before I get into this breakdown, hit the thumbs up, sub, the notification bell. That way you get updated when I drop the newest content like this. That being said, let's get into the fight prediction. Now, AJ did put on weight since the last time he fought. I believe he weighed in at 240 the last time. He had on sweatpants. This time he had on like... Adidas pants are not as heavy, but he also weighed in in shoes. But anyways, we can let that negate themselves. And we can say he roughly put on about four pounds from the last time. So he did increase in weight, which is weird because in the pictures, he was actually looking kind of smaller. And Usyk looked a lot bigger in his pictures. But when he hit the scale, he was a lot lighter than what I thought he would be. So you got Usyk coming in at 221. And then again, Anthony Joshua coming in at 244. I like that. I think AJ with more weight is better. I wish he would have came in a little bit heavier, but at least he's north of 240. See, that was the biggest issue that I had in the first fight, that AJ stripped off too much weight. He was around 237, real world weight. This fight, he's probably around 241, real world weight, meaning no clothes, stripped down. And... When you're the bigger man, when you're the stronger man, you don't give up your size and your weight whenever you're fighting a guy who's smaller than you. Don't give up your advantages. So I'm glad to see that he put back on those advantages somewhat. Again, I wish he was a little bit bigger, but this is, this is all right. 244, we can work with this. Usyk, 221. I think he's actually a little bit lighter than he was in the um, first fight. Wasn't he like 225? I believe he was. So, uh, I don't know. With all the stuff that was going on in Usyk's country currently and before he got here, I don't know if he had been training like he should have been training this whole time. There was a lot of stuff going on, and I'm not trying to make a built-in excuse for him if he loses. I'm just saying that. Looking at his body shape, he doesn't look as hard as he normally does. And I don't know if he's been training the whole time he's been away, whereas AJ probably has. So this fight right here is a, a, a toss-up. The first fight, I was very confident that Usyk was going to go in there, especially after seeing the weigh-ins. And he was going to dominate Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua in this fight, he's clearly taking steps to reverse what he was doing, which was shedding the weight. He's put on pounds, which I like. I've been saying it for a long time that AJ is not a born puncher, in my opinion. He made the statement that punches are born, not made. And I agree with that. And he's not a born puncher. It reflected in his fights where he's in his low 240s, where he's below 240 he just doesn't have the same type of power as he does when he's in his mid to upper 240s low 250s and that tells you that he's a guy that relies on the strength he's a guy that relies on the weight and that's how he gets his knockouts i say it all the time Deontay Wilder it doesn't matter if he's 200 pounds or 230 pounds he's gonna hit hard that's a born puncher Anthony Joshua, he needs to train to translate that power over. He just doesn't have the same natural punching power. Not to say that he doesn't hit hard. He just is not a naturally hard puncher. That, that's, I shouldn't say hard puncher, just devastating puncher. He's not a naturally born devastating puncher. I think that's better to say than not hard because he does hit hard. Anyways, I digress. Back to the point of this video. What happens? Who wins? Who do I favor? Again, this is hard because AJ did what I wanted him to do. He turned his back to losing weight and put weight back on. Hopefully, he's been hitting the weights, being that bodybuilder that people said he shouldn't be and been putting strength back on so he can control Usyk. Um, woo. Before this weigh-in, I wanted to say that I had Usyk beating him, possibly stopping him because I don't think Robert Garcia is the best trainer for him. Especially being that I've seen the chink in AJ's armor, that is, he does not like to be hit. Not saying that he does not have a chin, not saying that he does not have heart, because he has both of those. But just because you have a chin and just because you have heart doesn't mean that you like to be hit. And maybe, maybe Roberts fixed that. Maybe in their sparring training camp, whatever, they've had guys get on him, be aggressive, and he's gotten used to. Being in that fire, taking that heat, 
throw him back underneath the flames. And if he has, then that chink in the armor is now gone. I don't know. But what I have seen and what I've said before in past videos about AJ is when you press him, when you unload combos on him, he shells up like a turtle. He does not throw back. He hides in the shell and he waits for you to stop. There's not a lot of I shouldn't even say there's not a lot. There's never any firing coming back. It's just straight up. He'll sit there. He'll block. Wait, 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 wait until you're done. And then he'll return fire. It almost got him knocked out against Dillian White. and almost got him knocked out against Klitschko. And I can go on and on and on about times. Just like Andy Ruiz when he lost to him. It was because he kept shelling up and not returning fire. So that's what I mean by he does not like to be hit. And I just feel like a guy like Robert is going to have him overly aggressive. And if Usyk unloads on him, can you break that muscle memory? I don't know. That's yet to be seen. If AJ can navigate through being unloaded on in the pocket, then hey, great trainer for him. If he can't, he puts himself in harm's way and he freezes up, locks up, and he ends up losing because of it. Worst trainer he could have picked. To me, AJ, to win this fight. He needs to use the distance, use his length, use his jab, hit him with a power jab, bow, bow, bow. When Usyk gets close, grab immediately, hold him, and while you're holding him, do what Derek Chazor did, beat him to the body, hold that motherfucker, beat him to the body, hold him, hold him, hold him all night long until you get warnings from the referee and keep getting more warnings until the ref tells you he's going to take a point. Then change up the tactic, but you want to control him at range, catch him with the jab, hurt him, be from distance, hit him with some lead straights to the body, and then get away. And whenever he closes that gap, like I said, rinse and repeat, hold on to his ass, put all your weight on him like Tyson Fury did Deontay Wilder, lean on him, and with the free hand, start hitting them ribs. But really, the floating ribs, that, that's really the best, just start... Working it, bow, bow, bow. Throw a couple to the back, to the kidney, bow. Wear them down. If it doesn't seem to be working, hit that motherfucker in the leg a couple of times. Risk taking warnings. So again, AJ needs to be a bruiser. AJ needs to beat him up. AJ needs to control him. He needs to stay away from him. Don't get into exchanges in the pocket because you will not outbox this guy. You need to keep your distance, lock him up, beat him up, and let the referee do his job from there. That's it. Do not allow Usyk to work. Usyk, on the other hand, I mean, all he's got to do is evade the clinch and stay in the pocket. And he wins the fight. That's it. It's really simple for Usyk. Usyk, all he's got to do is navigate the jab, get it mid-range to close range because he wins in both. Uses footwork, side to side steps, and, and start working AJ. And you know what? Fuck it. AJ's been small for a long time. He just put on some weight. I don't know if putting on weight right now for this fight is going to help him because he may get tired. He might. He's gassed before. And the thing about putting on weight is you got to do it slow. You got to get used to it. You got to get acclimated. So if he has not got acclimated to putting his weight back on, even though I said all along he should have, however, he should have never lost it. So he would have been acclimated to being heavier. Usyk, same thing. He needs to target AJ's body. Now, for both fighters, you need to keep in mind, when you go to the body, your head is exposed. So you got to be smart about doing it. You cannot be taking clean shots all night long, even though Usyk has a granite chin. And even though AJ has a good chin, you cannot be taking clean shots all night to the face. So you got to pick and choose when you go to the body. But even with Usyk, I say, you know what? He put on that weight. Put on that muscle, target the body, slow him down, see what he's going to do. If he comes out super fast, weather the storm. Give him about two to three rounds of just blowing his load and then just come in there and clean him up. That's it. Let him get tired. Let him wear himself out. Do enough to evade, counter, hurt him. But never, ever, ever, ever should he give AJ a breath. Do not let him breathe. Press him from round one to round 12, or if it ends somewhere in between. You stay on top of him. You do not let him breathe. You keep the fight in mid to close range. If he grabs you, like I said, he should. The minute the referee separates, 
you close that gap again. You keep them going backwards. That is Usyk's number one goal. Do not let AJ breathe. Stay on top of him. Stay stuck to him like glue and just break him down. And if Usyk does that, I think it's a high probability that he will be AJ. I really do. Um, again, official prediction to end this video. Because I'm going to be honest with y'all. I'm having a hard time breathing. I've been sick for a while. My nose is messed up. Can't get no oxygen in. So it's hard for me to do these long videos. Back to the point, though. Um, who wins this fight? I'm running through all scenarios in my mind. So you got to look at it like this. Usyk may not have been trained this whole time due to all the real world stuff going on in this country. AJ's probably been training like a madman. He knows he's got nothing to lose because if he loses, he loses everything. So it's either go out in a blaze or you just go out. So when you got a man backed into a corner who's a fighter like AJ is, he's very dangerous. This is probably the most dangerous AJ that's ever stepped into the ring because his whole entire career is really dependent. It's contingent on this fight. So, I know without a doubt in my mind, AJ is going to give it his all. Now, is that going to cause him to buckle underneath the stress? Is that going to cause him to overexert himself? Again, it's yet to be seen. Usyk, we know, is not going to get tired. We know he's also extremely durable. Usyk was hurt in the first fight by a couple of shots to the body. But all the head shots, he seemed to take very well. So... Again, while I'm running these scenarios in my mind, I got to make an official prediction on this one. And I don't want to because I know, or I should say, I feel like Usyk's not 100% going into this fight. Just looking at his body composition. Um, I know AJ is going to come out aggressive. I know he's going to come out throwing bombs. I'm still calculating, guys. I'm still calculating. I'm still thinking. Because this one is a lot closer, in my opinion, than the first one was. The first one to me was very cut and dry. It was very easy to say who was going to win that fight. But you know what? When it comes down to it, power is great. I love power. Whenever I box, I knocked damn near everybody out that I fought. However, power doesn't mean anything if you can't hurt the other guy. And if you can't hurt the other guy, you got to rely on your boxing abilities. And I just do not think that Anthony Joshua's boxing abilities are good enough to cope with how good of a technical boxer that Usyk is. Usyk has already been shown that he can t take AJ's best shots. And off that alone, I'm going to have to go with Usyk on this one. Now, the only question is, can Usyk knock out Anthony Joshua? I don't know. I really do not know because, like I said, AJ's coming in bigger, so he'll be more durable, be able to take more damage, and be able to last longer taking that damage at a much higher rate or volume. So, I'm going to say... There's a very high probability that Anthony Joshua could get knocked out. A very high probability. I'm going to say it that AJ gets stopped. It's probably going to be somewhere in between the 8th to 12th round. And if that is going to be a possibility, look for him to start to break down around the 7th round. However, I think the more likely outcome is, again, Usyk is just going to... You know what? Fuck it. We're going to go with it. Usyk by knockout. We're going to go with it. Usyk by knockout. I've got him stopping AJ around the 10th, 11th round. 10th, 11th round. If I had to pick around because people like you to pick around, I'm going to say the end of the 10th round, this fight will be over. With Usyk on top, winning the titles, even though I don't think he's 100%, I don't think AJ's 100%, I don't think he's in the right state of mind. I think AJ wants to be what he is not, what other people tell him to be. Whenever AJ figures out what he is, remembers who he is, then AJ will be successful, but only then. And at the moment, I do not have faith that AJ will beat Usyk. So I'm going to go with Usyk by knockout into the 10th round. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. I know there's been a long video. I've been struggling to breathe due to my nose being so stopped up. But that's what we're rocking with. 
So again, let me know what y'all think in the comment section below.